Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. By expressions. So to start with, we will, we will begin with the most simplest expression that is the monomial. So how do we multiply a monomial with a monomial? Because they are the simplest ones. So let us take an example as well. Let's say that there is a monomial which is 3x, there is another monomial 6x and you have to find the product of these two monomials. So how we handle this is the coefficient of the product is equal to coefficient of first monomial multiplied by coefficient of second monomial. So in this case what is the coefficient of the first monomial? It is 3. What is the coefficient of the second monomial? It is 6. So we multiply these two coefficients that is 3 into 6 which is 18. So 18 becomes the coefficient of the product. So whatever result we get 18 becomes the coefficient of that result. Now what do we do with the uh, algebraic part? So the algebraic factor of the product is equal to algebraic factor of first monomial multiplied by algebraic factor of second monomial multiplied by third monomial. So in this case right now we are only dealing with two monomials. So there is no third monomial involved. So what are the algebraic parts? x and x. So x into x. What is x? x is basically x to the power 1 multiplied by x to the power 1. Now you have learned about powers, right? So what happens when you try to multiply two numbers such that they have the same base and different powers. So the powers get added. So in this case it will become x to the power 1 plus 1 that is x to the power 2. So x into x becomes x square. So therefore the product of 3x and 6x will be equal to 18x square. This is the answer. So let's take some more examples. Let's suppose you have to multiply 3x with minus 6y. So in this case, these are two different variables, but still first let's find out the coefficient. So for coefficient, we just multiply the numeric coefficient. So here it is 3, here it is minus 6. So 3 into minus 6 would be minus 18. And what about the algebraic factor? Here it is x, here it is y. So x into y would be xy. So minus 18xy will be the product. One more example. 9x is cube multiplied by 3 by 2x. So again the same thing. Let's first find the product of the coefficients. So the coefficient here is 9. Here it is 3 by 2. So 9 into 3 by 2 would be 27 by 2. And what about the variable part? So the variable part is x is cube into x. So x to the power 3 into x will be equal to x to the power 3 plus 1 which is equal to x to the power 4. So this would be 27 by 2 x to the power 4. This would be the product. Now what if instead of having two monomials we have three monomials in a row. So how do we multiply them? So here also the concept will be the same. So to find out the coefficient of the product you find out the product of all the coefficients of the three monomials. So let me take an example. So let's say you have 2p into 4q into 8r. So these are the three monomials. So to find out the coefficient of the product, just multiply all the coefficients. So 4 into 2 into 8, that is 64. So 64 becomes the coefficient of the product. And what about the algebraic factor? It would be the product of the algebraic factor of first, second and third monomial. That is P into Q into R. So this forms PQR. So 64 PQR would be the product. So let's take the second example a into 2a into 3c. How would you find the product? Again, first focus on the numeric coefficients. So here it is 1, here 2 and here 3. So 1 into 2 into 3. That would be 6. And then focus on the algebraic part. a into a would be a square into c. So this would be a square c. So this would be the result. So let's try with few more examples like a into 2a into 3a. So in this case again first the constants that is 1 into 2 into 3 which is 6. Now a into a into a which is a to the power 3 or a cube. So 6a cube would be the answer. So in this fashion we can find out the product of three monomials. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.